There are two ways to do multiplication in vector algebra. The first we'll be talking about is the dot product, which is written like this, a dot b. Given two vectors a and b, the dot product may be found by multiplying the coefficients for each of those three components and then adding the three products, like this. Please be careful to note that the result of a dot product is a scalar. The dot product can also be considered graphically. In this case, the dot product is given as the product of the magnitude of the first vector, the magnitude of the second vector, and the cosine of theta, which is the angle between the two vectors if they're both plotted at the origin. From this representation, we can clearly see that two orthogonal vectors will always have a dot product of zero, because the cosine of theta in this case is zero. And the dot product of two vectors is maximized when the vectors are parallel, because in this case the cosine of theta is one. We should also note that the dot product is commutative, so a dot b equals b dot a, and it's distributive, so a dot b plus c equals a dot b plus a dot c. The other option for multiplication of two vectors is a cross product, which is written like this a cross b. The cross product of two vectors a and b is equal to the determinant of this matrix, which can also be written like this. It's important to note that the cross product of two vectors is still a vector. If this is your first time being introduced to dot and cross products, please take some time to go through some practice problems until you feel comfortable with them. We're going to be using them a lot in this class. And remember to carefully keep track of your vectors and scalars. Dot products and cross products are both operations that require two vector inputs, but the result of a dot product is a scalar, and the result of a cross product is a vector.